Guys, greetings. I am coming to you guys because it is a very important day in American history today. And um, everybody's level of uh, concern is different. Uh, today is the election, November 3rd, 2020. As we go to the polls, and some of you have already voted, I hope all of you vote, um, voted, is that I just want to stop by, guys, because a lot of us has been dealing with a lot of things. I'm not trying to tell you who to vote for. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But as someone who cares about you guys, not just physically, um, but mentally and spiritually, just want to encourage you all guys, before we get the results, before we know anything about anything, I want you guys to stay encouraged and to know despite whatever results that comes, despite what happens, you have to keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. That's the only way we can get through it. However it goes, guys, if it's your way that you voted, you can be elated, but I want main thing, we got to understand that no matter who is in the White House, God is there still in control. And what we need to focus on, guys, is unity, not divisiveness, not ugliness, not racism, not hatred, not just not understanding each other's humanity. I don't care who you are. I myself had to check myself on some things that I can do better about humanity myself. So let's not just assume we're doing everything that we possibly can to further the agenda of unity and also just being, have the empathy for our fellow man. We all can improve. Think about it that way. I encourage you guys, before this day ends, stay in prayer. Keep your eyes on things that are positive and encouraging. Don't overdo yourself with the news, uh, propaganda, predictions of what's going to happen and what's going to come. We hold ourselves to a higher standard here, not just as passion for fitness athletes, but also followers of Jesus Christ. I love you guys. I love you in a way that's outside of the studio, and I'm truly caring about who you are and what you are and how you're feeling. And I say all that to say, if it's something I can do, feel free to get in contact with me, call me, I'm here to talk. It's a blessing to be in this position with you guys to be able to be that one that you feel that you can come to and ask to pray on your behalf or either your family. Just know you're not alone. Just know everybody get weary. Everybody get tired. Everybody get angry. For the Bible has showed us on many occasions, the ones that we actually look to for guidance, such as Paul, uh, Peter, all of them, at one time, doubted faith. So don't think just because you doubt and don't understand what's going on that you can't ask our God any question. He's God. You don't intimidate him with your questions. For a matter of fact, he encourages us to ask him questions in a respectful, loving, inquisitive way. So he's your God. He's your father. He knows you better than I do. So again, guys, I'm just stopping by to keep you guys encouraged. Do the best you can during this time. Until next time, guys, God bless. Stay in prayer. Stay encouraged. Here if you need me. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.